Do you have a space in your house that you just feel completely overwhelmed with when you open the door? Today, we're gonna go ahead and declutter it. We are going to spend just 15 minutes decluttering this space. Now, I know that doesn't seem like very much, but you will be so surprised at how much you can get decluttered in just 15 minutes. I definitely have one of these spaces downstairs. It is a unfinished bathroom that we use as a storage space. Now I know that my storage space is going to take more than 15 minutes because it is a disaster. It's just a space where I have just thrown everything that I don't know what to do with and that's why I'm super overwhelmed with it, right? So today I'm just gonna spend 15 minutes. Tomorrow I'm gonna spend 15 minutes. The next day I'll spend 15 minutes. Let's see how many days it takes us to get this done. But my whole point is we do not want to get overwhelmed with this. So we're just going to spend 15 minutes. Let's head down to the basement and I will open this door and show you this scary closet. Let's go. Now this is going to be kind of hard to film because it's dark. There are no lights in here. I have a light behind me that's going to shine in here. But here we go. See what we can find. I can't even open the door all the way. I have too much stuff behind it. Here we go. And I know that back here, underneath some stuff under here, is some broken glass. Underneath this stuff, so I have my shoes on. I have a broom. There's part of the broken glass. There's the tub back there, full of stuff. Who knows what? So. Here we go. Let's get going. So I don't even know where to start really, but I'm just gonna start. This first 15 minutes probably isn't gonna get me very far. I think what I'm gonna start with is I'm just gonna grab. I can't walk in here, so I've gotta grab all of the storage bins out. I probably do not need all of this. So I'm going to take it out here into the hall. I'm gonna really quickly kind of pick through it and decide what stuff can go which is really, really difficult because I really like keeping all these storage bins because I know that they can be used, probably. So who knows? I may not get rid of any of these. I might keep all of these, but I need to make a better spot for them. <laughs> Let's just clear these out first. Um, I'm going to grab my 15 minute timer and we'll get started. Let's go. Now I wanna make sure that I'm not gonna be making a bigger mess or leaving a big mess out. So I'm gonna make sure that these 15 minutes are spent deciding what to do with these so that I don't leave them out here in the hallway. All right, I think, I think that's all the storage things. Actually, I have this little turntable too. Let me see if there's anything else back here. Oh, there's something behind this. Okay, I'm a little embarrassed <laughs> about all these. All right, I'm gonna start the timer again. We are going to decide what to do with all of these. Okay, I already know that these could possibly go. I'm gonna set those aside. I'm gonna kind of organize these into type. Oh, I definitely want these little separators. I'm gonna try and organize kids' drawers or something. I like these containers, so I'm gonna keep that. Um, these I don't love. These were like $6 at TJ Maxx is what it said. I have two of them. I know it's a waste of money, but I think I'm going to get rid of those. I love turntables, <laughs> so I'm not sure I'm gonna get rid of that. And then this, I need to re reorganize my pantry as well. And I might be able to use that. I know there's a lot of might or maybes, but I'm okay with that. This lid goes to probably one of these down here. All right. I know I don't want this one anymore. I've had it for a long time. It just, it doesn't close very well. I don't love it. That's going to go. Okay. I do like this one. I'm going to think about that here. All right, this goes with this. This might be good for our uh, toy toy game closet. Think about that too. Pretty sure I can get rid of this. I don't love the blue. I prefer clear and white. I think that I'm gonna get rid of this one too. Again, it's blue, kind of just tired of it. All right, these lids go to two containers that I don't keep the lid on it. 
here's my dilemma. I keep thinking, well, maybe one day I'll want to switch it up and I'll want these lids because they're cute and they look nice. But really, I haven't ever used them, ever. So these are gonna go. I do like these because they can stack. So that's one thing I do like about these is that they stack. So I'm gonna keep thinking about these. They definitely need to be cleaned. They're disgusting. So I have a bunch of extra lids here. I'm gonna keep this one to see if I can find the matching containers since I'm keeping a bunch of those. I'm gonna set these aside because I'm pretty sure I want to put these back. And this one is gonna go, actually that's gonna go here so I can see if I can find that. And then I'm gonna keep these, this for now. So let's move back in here. Okay, I have these two Lego bins right here that I just took some out of my son's room because he has way, way too many. Obviously we have way too many, but I'm going to keep them down here because I want to try and rotate them for when he gets bored with the ones up in his room. So I'm going to keep those, but I'm going to set them aside for a minute because like I said, I can't get in here and I have this, this is our Christmas tree and I need to move it out for now so that I can get around to all the other stuff in here. So I'm going to pause that while I pause this while I do that. So this tent should have been decluttered. I decluttered it out of a closet over here a while ago, but somehow it worked its way into here. So I'm gonna move this out. So I'm just gonna work through this little pile. This is some work stuff of my husband's. Probably still wants that. Oh, I don't know what this is. Let's see. Probably one of these free bags that we really don't use. Oh, I know what it was. Oops, my son won a golfing thing. So we don't need that. He'll probably want these teas. He doesn't need that. I don't think he's gonna need these drinks, things, energy drinks. He's 13. He doesn't need an energy drink. <laughs> so I'm gonna put these with this golfing stuff. This, it actually is a pretty good bag that we could use for like amusement parks. I have a space upstairs in my bedroom for bags like this. And I think I'm going to keep this one. So I'm going to take that there. Yeah, this is funny. A piece of mail. Obviously we don't need this because it's been sitting in here for years. So lift that up and throw that out. Okay. This is one of these decisions that I need to make. This takes up a ton of space. Oh, if I can get it out, I'll show you. So the problem with this, I don't, hopefully you can see it. This is a nice carpet machine. I don't really use it anymore because it's broken. It won't stay standing up anymore. It just falls. So when I'm trying to vacuum and I need to empty the dirty water or fill this up, I have to drop it on the ground. So I haven't used it. This is kind of a hard one. I'm going to make sure my husband is okay with it, but I, I mean, other than that, it works perfectly fine. There's a spot here that completely broke off of plastic and there's not a way to fix it. If my decision, I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to ask him to make sure he's okay with that, but I'm going to sit, take it out because I don't want it in here. It's a big, heavy beast. Okay. Now I know I probably should use gloves. I'm just, I don't want to go find any. So I have this box here. I'm going to use this for putting in all this broken glass. Now the big pieces, I'm just going to pick up with my hands. This huge piece, I'll probably just throw outside. There's one glass intact, <laughs> but I don't, I don't even know what I have. Some frame somewhere that I'm not using. All right, now with the minute left, I'm gonna sweep up the little or smaller pieces here. Oh, there's my timer. The beep didn't go off because I have it like that for when my son watches or uses the iPad. If you haven't discovered that, there's a stop playing sound, which means it just turns off. So I'm just gonna hurry and sweep this up and be done for today. I'm gonna take this and the big piece of glass directly outside. I know that's out of my 15 minutes, but I don't want it sitting down here and people getting cut. Okay, there was 15 minutes worth. Already way better. Today is day two. We're gonna go ahead and put 15 minutes on the timer and get started. I'm gonna start back here because this stuff feels a little less overwhelming than this stuff over here. A lot of this stuff I already kind of know that I can get rid of, so. That's why I'm going to start there today. Here's the timer. Let's get going. These are some, a game that my husband uses for work. 
for a fair that he does. So I'm going to just take them out for a minute. I don't know for sure if I want to store those in here or not. All right, these are some more of these under the bed storage containers. I don't need them. So I am going to declutter these. All right, this stinks. For some reason, I didn't record this last part. So you can see that I got rid of a bunch of stuff. So let me go through it real quick. This is just a box of a bunch of bags that my husband uses for his work. This is a basket of stuff that I am going to go ahead and declutter. These were some cute little hooks that I used in my girls' bedrooms, but I just don't really care for them anymore. Same with the basket. So this was my bridal picture and I just don't love the frame anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter the frame, but I'm gonna take out the print. And then another pictured frame that we just, I don't know, received that years ago or I bought it. I don't even remember. Don't want it. This was a fan that goes into the bathroom here that's obviously not going to be used as a bathroom. So I do not need that. This was a piece that I used in my old house in the bathroom and I just haven't used it. It's been over 10 years, 12 years since we've lived here and it's been sitting down here for that long. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. And then these were some picture frames that we had in our old house. And I just had four of these. This was even before our two boys were born. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter the frames and take out the prints. I'll probably throw away the prints because I have them in digital form. I don't really need them. This was a uh, questionable. Well, this I definitely am keeping. <laughs> I didn't realize that I had this. It's an Ikea hook thing. You just screw them on to this little board. And I just bought some not that long ago for one of my kids' rooms. So these frames, um, these are cute little frames that my mom had in her old house and she just gave them to me. I thought, oh, maybe I'll put them in the bathroom, but I never did. But I am still questioning these frames. I still might use them. So they're just kind of in a, I'm not 100% sure pile. This was just an empty box of some lights that we have in our, some theater lights that we have in our basement. They, they kept that here when we moved in and I think we've kept it just in case we needed to get a replacement. I'm just gonna take a picture of that and call it good and throw away the box. Okay, I made sure I pushed record this time. So let me go back to what I was talking about. I got this from my mom and dad for graduation from high school, which was 25-ish, 24, 25-ish years ago. And it's a cute little three layer shelf thing. There's this, there's these little things that hold them in place. I used it for a long time, but um, I don't really even know if I've used it at this house before. I just don't really have room for it. It's not my style anymore. So I'm gonna go, I'm not even gonna try and sell them. I'm just gonna go ahead and donate these. You can see that I have five minutes left on my timer and now I could keep going in here, um, but I am gonna stop today because I want to spend these last five minutes. I'm gonna pause it again, just turn it off actually. I want these last five minutes to take all of the stuff that needs to go to the donation center and put it in my car so that I'm not overwhelmed with the stuff that's in the hall for the next couple of days. There is still some stuff, but that stuff needs to come back in here. And I'm okay with leaving it there because I know that I'm gonna come back tomorrow and do this. This might take me a few minutes longer, but that's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I will be back here tomorrow. Hopefully we can finish this. We might not be able to. That's okay. It might take two more days, but I'll see you then. All right, we're back and it's day three. And I just wanted to check in just a little bit. I am really not feeling overwhelmed. This has actually been a really great plan for me just to take 15 minutes each day to get this done. So let's just keep going. I got my 15 minute timer here. So let's start. All right, the, this I know I want to keep. Um, I, I don't know exactly what I'm using it for yet, but I do like this frame, so I'm going to keep this. Actually, I'm going to set it over here. I actually have this that I haven't hung up yet. I probably should put it in our office. This was me and my, and my husband. He was a wrestler. I was a cheerleader back in high school. I'm going to keep this, and we'll just need to get it hung up. I'm going to put it here by this other frame and I know I want to keep this I'm gonna I think my husband wanted it so we're gonna probably put it in his office in fact I'm gonna actually just take it to his office right now and this mirror I was gonna keep this mirror but I just bought a new round circle mirror to put in the place of where this one had belonged before I think I'm done with this one I'm gonna go ahead and send this one off to the donation center I think we probably have too many of these. I'm just going to make an executive decision and say we have too many of these and I'm going to 
Let me double check with my husband because <laughs> he's the one that really uses these. So I'll double check, but I'm like 90% sure that that can go. I did talk to him about the carpet cleaner and we're gonna go ahead and just donate that one as well. I bought this, I don't know when, a couple years ago. I haven't put it up, it's brand new. I don't really care for it anymore. I'm just gonna donate that. This, let me, I'm gonna ask my husband if he knows what this is for. If he doesn't, they probably can just go in the garbage. I never put the name of what these screws and stuff belong to. I'm trying to see in here what they could belong to and I can't find anything. So I'm just gonna throw those away too. I am gonna hang on to this. Forgot I had it. I don't know where I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put it with like the picture frames that I'm gonna keep. Oh, <laughs> a pair of underwear, brand new pair of underwear. It was probably because this is where I hide Christmas presents. Many years ago, I had a little business that I did, made hair bows and I did little boutiques. I don't want this anymore at this frame. So I'm gonna um, send that one to the donation center. Same with this. They are pictures of my daughter. They're cute, but I, I don't need this frame anymore. So I'll take those pictures out and send that to the donation center. Okay, so this cute little shelf belongs with this toy chest as well as this cute little bug lamp here. I almost sold it years ago and then I stopped myself and I thought, what if my kids want it? So I did ask my daughter whose room it was in if she thought that she'd want it and she said yes. So I have kept it down here in this toy chest. We've kept some toys that she also wanted to keep. They're cute little, the little people and we'll keep those also for when she moves out. Let's see, I have two pictures here. This is another one. I actually do think I might use this one in the bathroom down here. So I'm gonna hang on to this. It's okay to hang on to some things. I still am getting rid of a bunch of stuff. It's okay to hang on some things that you just aren't, for sh aren't sure. This is still, you know, kind of one of those maybes. Kind of same with this one. We did use this. Oh wait, this one doesn't have a removable frame. I'm just gonna go ahead and donate this one. Not even worry about it anymore. I have some of the toys here that are the little people toys. Let's see if anything's falling back. Oh, I have. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna laugh. Let me explain this a little bit. In one of my recent videos, I went and decluttered my wrapping paper. That was another one of my 15 minute declutters. Obviously now I have some more. I know where this belongs. I have a spot for it. I'm gonna put that in there. And I think I have another roll in here too. It's hiding back there. I'll get it in just a minute. I have a little less than eight minutes. Oh, what's this? These are tiles to something. What is this? I have no idea what these are for. I don't have this tile in my home anywhere. I wonder if this is something they had in here. Uh, probably. When we moved in. There's not that many. I don't know, there's maybe 10 in here. Oh. I'm just gonna go ahead and donate this. Alright, this belongs to that piece of furniture that I was talking about earlier. That three tier. And these are heavy. These are like wrought iron or whatever it's called. Uh, let's see, this went to that vacuum. I'm debating on whether I should take it to the donation center or not because it still works, but it's broken because it doesn't stay standing up. So I don't know, what would you do? Would you still donate it or just toss it? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments, what would you do? And then I still haven't figured out what these go to. These little Ikea things. So I'm going to toss those too. Okay. So this bed frame back here, I believe was my grandmother's and my mom gave it to me and I thought that we would probably use it. Now I can't even remember what size it is. I think it's a queen. I know it's not a twin. Yeah. I believe this is a queen and she gave it to me because we have some other pieces of furniture, but it's never going to fit in my kids' rooms because they're too small and we can't fit that size of bed in it. So I'm just going to ask her if she wants it or if she knows somebody in the family that wants it. If they don't, I'm going to go ahead and send it to the donation center as well, as well as these are just the wheels or the frame that goes with it. And there's some more glass. Wow. It's a sharp little piece of glass. All right. I just have a tiny 
little pile up here, which I'm pretty sure, let me grab it. This also belongs to my husband's fair stuff. Obviously it needs to probably be washed and folded up and put away. And I am gonna be putting these probably in the closet in his office because there's, it's empty basically in there from when we decluttered it. And then I have one last thing behind the door here, which is another picture frame. Now I'm gonna go ahead and save the print, but you can see that the picture frame is ruined. It's broken. Um, I've never hung this up. It's my husband's grandparents. I think it was given to us as a gift when she passed away. But like I said, we'll just keep the print and I'm gonna throw away the frame. Before I started doing all my talking, I had about four and a half minutes left. So again, I'm gonna take that time to take all the stuff up to my car that needs to be taken to the donation center. And then I'm also just gonna spend a few minutes here putting everything back, three 15 minute days worth and we were able to clear out this really overwhelming storage closet. So decluttering doesn't need to be hard. It can be quick and easy. Take little bite-sized chunks at a time and you'll be able to get it done. This was a huge weight off of my shoulders. I am so glad to see all of this in the car. I got rid of so much stuff. Some of the stuff did kind of hurt a little bit when I sent it off, but I know that I am not going to miss it at all. As I was loading everything into the car. I also was questioning myself a little bit on some of the items, but I knew they just needed to go. So I just put them in there and got them out of the car. I really hope that you found this video helpful and motivating today. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me. I really, really appreciate you and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.